It's been a while. <laughs> Derek, how much is it? How happy are you to see Jimmy back? It, he has been, uh, he's been someone that, you know, our lockers are just separated by one. And we have had a lot of great conversations where we're both in there very early. And so some early morning from training camp to now, just just great times getting to know each other, just becoming good friends and good teammates. And having him, you know, we, we knew that he could do some of these things. Obviously, we hit him early in Green Bay. Um, you know, and now the past couple of weeks, he's, you know, been, you know, viable option for us. And um, just to see him still play at that level and still be able to execute at that level at, at his age. You know, I heard him talking about his training and all that kind of stuff. And that's like the new thing. Like, you know, as you get older, you have, you have to change certain ways that you do things. And he, he knows what he's doing and it's paying off for him because he still executes at a high level. He made the best play of the day was that catch, you know, it was unbelievable. It's like the only place I could throw it and yeah, you know, it's Jimmy Graham. Like I watched Drew do it enough, you know, it's like give him a chance and he went up and made a heck of a play. So, you know, you watch that play and you're like, he looks like he's, you know, 28 years old, you know, and uh, really impressed. But I think the greatest thing is his leadership, you know, what he brings to our team, just the mellowness, you know, just his demeanor. Um, you know, when it's when it's tough, when it's hard, those grinding days on a Wednesday or Thursday, uh, he's been just fantastic for our team. What happened uh, between you and Eric in, in that situation? Yeah, always, yeah. I mean, things happen, man. You know, <laughs> um, we were both had had our reasons. We were both right for an aspect. We were both wrong for an aspect. Um, but that's not the only time that's ever happened. You know, with me and a player or uh, an offensive lineman or a center. Um, you know, that stuff happens. And, uh, you know, the best part about it, you know, Rich Basaccio always taught me those moments are going to happen. You're going to have conflict sometimes, confrontation. Always circle back. So we went and circled back. We looked at each other and both smiled because we both already knew, you know. Um, and uh, But that was – with all the cameras around, that stuff gets caught sometimes. Um, but there is no problem. It's all good. You've had a couple of those this year. Is that something that you kind of yeah. try to think about or be mindful of? Or? I'm just excited that we won a game today. You know, people gritted through some stuff, and that's what I'm happy about. You don't think that conflict's like maybe an issue, though? Brother, I'm not trying to be negative with you anymore. I'm sorry. When you say fight through it, how much were injuries? How much were you affected? How much were you trying to fight through stuff physically? Did that limit you at all? Everybody. Everybody's dealing with stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, they put the little injury report out there, and there's everyone, everyone, there's eight guys on every team every year, you know, and, or every week, I should say. And everybody's dealing with stuff. Um, I just, I, I grew up in a time where, like, you know, there are certain things that you're going to, you may not put your best film out there, but are you still willing to go out there and be out there for your teammates, right? And uh, we have a lot of guys that make, that, make those decisions all the time, like, no, nah, we're going to be out there, and it is what it is, you know. Derek, you're pretty good with transparency. How would you assess your play today? Yes, we won. <laughs> we won. That's I got enough yards and touchdowns for a lifetime, man. I came here to win, and hopefully we can just keep doing that. Derek, everything you went through this week, how does it feel to get the win? How are you feeling right now? Yeah, my my favorite thing is to watch my teammates celebrate. So, um, you know, we got to go in that locker room and. Everyone was dancing, coaches, special teams coach right in the middle of it, you know, uh, watching Reyes dance and all, all that. that. I mean, that's this this game's hard enough, you know. Um, and so whenever you can get a win and watch everybody celebrate, um, knowing, you know, you see guys a smile on their face, you know what they dealt with all week, you know what that guy dealt with, and you, know, you watch them and you see that smile. And, like, that's what – that's those – like Mickey said in there, like, you're, you're going to remember the people you do it with. And because you know their story, you know you know what's happening in their life, and um, that that's what was cool to me. I saw two or three guys. I know they they were dealing with some stuff nobody knows about, but they came out, gritted out, and we were able to get away and see them smile. You know, even though it was hard week, it was really cool. There was a report that you got a, a rib fracture. Is that is that right? And is that limiting at all in, in anything you were trying to do? I did. Um, I've had a couple this year. Um, I think that's I'm up to three now, uh, which is that's a. Uh, there were guys last year on the team here that were dealing with those, you know, and they, they, what's crazy is they had a whole bunch of them last year. They know exactly how to treat them, like just stuff to help you be at your close to as best as you can. And so, um, ribs on court or rotate any rotational athlete are tough, but 
I was at, I, I felt good enough. They felt confident enough that I could at least be out there and you know execute. Is that like a mobility risk or a pain management thing? A little bit of both. Uh, pro- yeah, because uh, pain would be the mobility issue, but um, uh, we were able to do some things <laughs> to to help that uh, the best we could. Did when did the other the ones? Game plan? Sorry, 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 Kat. Did that affect the game plan? What you guys were trying to do, trying to work around them? Uh, no, we knew, I mean, this scheme, they want to stop the pass. You know, they hold their shell looks. They want to take away the deep stuff and all that kind of stuff. And I think they're only giving up 180 yards passing all year, you know. And so, like, you know the emphasis. I, I used to play that scheme all the time in Denver. That's the emphasis. you got to be able to run the ball to win the game. And uh, when you do have pass plays down the red zone, um, you know, try and be efficient, try and hit, got to hit a shot. You know, that just there's just formulas to play in certain teams. And um, it, trust me, I, I'll throw – 20 yards in a, in a game and get a win any day. Like I said, I came here to do that. So however we have to do that, we've thrown for 300 and lost, and that it's a crappy week, you know. Like now everyone has a smile on their face. We've got to win. Um, and whatever the scheme is, man, you just, you know, everybody tries to attack things differently. And so going into it, it wasn't like maybe they didn't tell me, you know. But we, I, I knew it was going to be a heavy run the ball day because every time I played this game, you got to be able to run the ball efficiently, and we were able to do that. But Derek, at what point does the way you win matter as much as getting the win? Um, man, in 10 years, like, I, I just, I've been a part of some really big wins, and you have a huge day on one side of the ball or the other, and then I've been a part of some win or, or some games where you have a great day and you lose, and, or some games where you lose. And I, I, one thing I've learned is that you really don't care how, you, us in the building, we don't care how we win. You know, you just you just got to win. You know, this league is way too tough, um, you know, uh, to, you know, try and nitpick. The nitpicking is to get better for the next game, you know, if we're going to do those plays and that kind of stuff and get better as individually. But you just take a win anytime you can get them, you know. Um, you always hear a coach, I, I, I've been a part of these where it wasn't pretty and then, hey, man, we able to get a couple at the end and put it away. And, it, hey, it wasn't pretty. I've heard a coach say it wasn't pretty, but we won, you know. And so. Uh, I've just adopted that, and I believe that any way you can do it, you just want to win. It was a unique play. Did you get away with one on the one, or what did you see when you threw that one that, that went to Andrew's feet? I guess you were glad he didn't catch it. Or? Oh, I was trying to dirt it um, at Chris. Uh, Chris had broken in, the safety was there, and I was trying to dirt But as I got hit, it just kind of fell to him. Um, but I wasn't trying to throw it to Andrus. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a target. <laughs> Derek, you know, I know, I'm sorry to belabor this, but you know, when people see the quarterback and the center arguing throughout a game on television, it's, it's going to be perceived as this is just something bubbling out of the locker room. This is something that's happening that we're now seeing. Mm-hmm. What, what would you say to that? And does that perception matter? Um, the perception of it, no, no, that doesn't matter. Um, to to say, I mean, I've always been honest with you guys. To say that there was a problem before, we we had a great week of texting each other and practice and laughing and having fun and all that kind of stuff. So, um, me and Eric have no no issue in the moment. Something happened. The, the the reason doesn't matter. Everyone wants to know the reason. Everybody wants to know the why and what. It doesn't matter. We we were both right. We were both wrong. At the same time, we both were like, my bad. He was like, my bad. I was like, my bad. And that was it. And I've done that with my two older brothers probably 50 times in my life, and it happens. Um, but when, it, when it's like in a frustrating moment and that kind of happens, it is intensified, as I've learned, um, you know, because people want to know, oh, no, what's wrong? Um, there, there really is nothing wrong. We had a moment um, that I've, I've had some of those moments in my 10 years a lot of times, you know, with, with a coach, with a teammate, somebody. And just I always learn, you always circle back, you make it right, and you keep going. But that kind of stuff happens all the time at practice. Uh, not saying with me and him, I'm saying just with teammates. That, that stuff happens. Um, and you just make sure you always you know, circle back, make it right, and we did that. And so um, I love Eric. I love Eric to death. Um, but I, I would be completely honest with you. There's no problem. What did you hey, see hey, on one last question for Derek and then Carl Granderson. Derek, when did the rib fractures happen? But sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I just meant to ask that. Um, uh, you talking about? Yeah, was that was oh, that in the Green Bay game or the Minnesota game? The other rib fractures. Yeah, there's uh, the other two. No one even knew. Uh, I played uh, through them, uh, but the the one was last week, um, Detroit. Yeah. But you had already had that two. A different time. It was a different. 
It wasn't those two games. It was a different game. Yeah. Good. Yeah, appreciate it.